Hello, my name is Monica Kozbiel, and I'm going to be talking about the test helpers provided by the Blockly DevTools plugin. One of the plugins we publish on NPM is Blockly DevTools. It provides a few different features, and one of them is test helpers that you can use in your automated Mocha tests. These helpers contain a lot of specialized functions for testing Blockly blocks and fields, and that's what I'm going to be going over in this talk. I'll start with briefly talking about what you'd want to test for in blocks and fields, then I'll go over field test helpers, then block test helpers, and finally some generic common test helpers. These helpers were designed to make it easier to write tests for blocks and fields for a lot of test cases, without needing to use a lot of code. If you've written any or plan to write any custom blocks or fields, this talk will be helpful in letting you know what's available for you to use. We'll include links below this video to the source code for the helpers covered in this talk. What to test. For any block or field, there's a few common things that you should test. For fields, you should test the constructor, the deserialization of the field through the fromJSON method, set value, and the validators. For blocks, you should test creation, code generation, and serialization. Now let's get into the test helpers we provide for field tests. In the test helpers, there are specialized helpers written for running constructor, from JSON and set value field tests. Additionally, there's a general purpose helper function called assert field value provided for asserting a field's value that should work for most fields. It compares the values returned from get value and get text for the provided field against the expected values passed in. The helper provided for running constructor tests is run constructor suite tests. It generates a Mocha test suite with the title constructor and creates Mocha tests that test that your field behaves correctly when it's passed valid and invalid values through its constructor. For valid arguments, it checks that the field is set to the passed value and no errors are thrown. For invalid arguments, it checks that the field is either set to an expected default value or that an error is thrown. With this function, you should be able to find multiple valid and invalid test cases easily and cover a lot of different edge cases. Here's a code sample of what it looks like to use this helper function. You can easily configure multiple tests by either defining it as an invalid or valid test case of the type field creation test case and passing it into the call for run constructor suite tests. This method takes the invalid and valid test cases, an assertion method to check the field state after it's passed valid arguments, and optionally, an assertion method that checks that the field is set to a default value called for invalid value test cases. If the assert field default method is not passed, then it's assumed that the field is expected to throw on invalid arguments rather than be set to a default value. You can check the JS doc for field creation test case type in Blockly samples to learn further about how the test case can be configured. Similar to run constructor suite tests, run from JSON suite tests should reduce the amount of code needed to set up from JSON tests. It generates a Mocha test suite titled from JSON and takes in the same parameters as run constructor suite tests. The difference between this method and the run constructor suite tests method is that this test covers creating the field using the from JSON method, while the latter is testing creation through the field's constructor. Here's a code sample for run from JSON suite tests. The configuration for all the parameters is exactly the same, and it's generally expected that your constructor and from JSON method handle invalid and valid values the same, so you should expect to be able to reuse the same parameters for this call, which further simplifies what you need to do to write these tests. The helper provided for running set value tests is run set value tests. It tests the behavior of the field when the set value call on it is past valid and invalid values. For valid values, it checks that the field has the expected value in text. For invalid values, it checks that the field has the expected fallback value in text. Unlike the previous two helpers, the run set value tests method doesn't generate a Mocha test suite that wraps the generated Mocha tests. You are responsible for creating the test suite to wrap these tests, as well as a Mocha setup function that instantiates the field on this.field with an initial value. You can call this function multiple times with test suites with fields with different initial values to cover more edge cases. We do this for the Boolean field in core. Here's a code sample for run set value tests. 
The valid and invalid test cases that are passed to run set value tests are of the type field value test case, which is a super type of field creation test case. You can often reuse the valid and invalid test case configuration that's passed for the run constructor suite tests and run from JSON suite tests, though in some cases you may decide to create new valid and invalid test cases to test for set value. This helper takes in the valid and invalid test cases, the expected value of the field for an invalid value run, and optionally the expected text for an invalid value run if the text is expected to be different from the value. This is the case in our Boolean field and core. Now let's talk about what's available for block test helpers. The test helpers and dev tools provide helper functions for generating code generation and serialization tests. Creation tests are typically straightforward, so there aren't any helpers available for that. The helper provided for running code generation tests is run code generation test suites. It generates multiple Mocha test suites for each code generation test suite that's defined and passed into the function. The code generation test suite specifies which language generator to test and a set of code generator test cases. The Mocha test generated for each test case will create a block based on the create block function, which is defined on the test case and compare the code generated from that block to the expected code and inner order defined on the test case. Here's a code sample for run code generation test suites. As you can see, configuration for multiple different language generators can be made and then passed into run code generation test suites. I'd recommend defining at least a simple test case. For an example of run code generation test suites, I'd recommend checking out our Mocha test for field multiline input in Blockly Core. You can check out our JS doc for code generation test suite and code generation test cases types to learn further about how you can configure these tests. The helper provided for running serialization tests is run serialization test suites. This helper generates a Mocha test suite with the title serialization, which contains two more nested test suites for XML to block and XML round trip tests. The XML block test suite runs tests that create a block from XML and checks that the created block has the expected structure. The XML round trip test suite runs tests that create a block from XML, converts it back to XML, and compares it to the expected XML output. This helper is past test cases of the type serialization test case, which defines the XML, expected XML, and assertion functions to use for checking the block structure. Here's a code sample for run serialization test suites. As I explained earlier, the helper function takes an array of serialization test case, which define property used in generating the tests. You can check out our JS doc for the serialization test case type to learn further about how the test cases can be configured. Finally, let's talk about some common test helpers. The common test helpers provided by DevTools are what's used in the block and field test helper implementations. They are convenient functions that can also be used to run repetitive test cases or suites. If you look at how our block or field test helpers are implemented, you can get a sense of how you could leverage these helper functions. One of the features available on the common test helpers, as well as in the field and block test helpers, is that any test suite or test case can be configured to run using the Mocha keyword only or skip. The only keyword is very useful for debugging, and the skip keyword could be used to enable you to write tests that don't yet pass due to a bug and mark them with a skip and a to-do comment to unskip after the bug is fixed. Thanks for watching this talk. If you have any questions, you can come to our Q&A session during our virtual summit. Or if you're watching this after our virtual summit has concluded, you can post your question on our developer forum. 